Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create the bump chart or which is basically the ranking chart using Charticulator. So Charticulator if you have seen my previous video here I have given the introduction of Charticulator based on the Power BI workout readiness day exercise right and if I show you this is sort of a chart that we had created Ooh, it has somehow if I go in edit mode I think it will show up properly somehow its values are not showing but um, but yeah it was like you know you have a line and you have a circle in the end and then it basically shows the uh, the lollipop chart if I show you quickly using the link which has been given here this will give you a quick idea if you have not seen that so it is populating yeah that's what i was referring to so this is a chart we created it but i'm exploring more this charticulator and this time i am creating the bump chart so bump chart is something a template has been given which is nothing but the ranking if i just show you over here in my power bi page is i will just change the page name to bump chart and if it's nothing but if you go over here and add it so first thing first if you are coming here very first time about this this is a custom visual you need to sign in using your official id go over here and get more visual and uh, here you need to add the charticulator charticulator is a custom chart components so charticulator is your custom component it is from microsoft corporation to simplify the lives uh, especially for those who are you know historically they have worked on tableau and they want to create a similar type of chart especially because even i have done that so that's something useful this is a component when i clicked on this this is a screen which i get couple of first three steps as to how to get started so that's that's what it is now i go over here and click on edit right so we have this bump chart right so you can click on this bump chart you can first thing first is you need template so make sure you click on template and you get the same data set to start with so that it becomes easy for us so you click on template and this if you click ok it will ask you to download the template since i have already downloaded it i can import it but before importing i need the data set as well so i can use my sales data set but just to show you how you can easily do it and i will also show you how you can utilize your you know normal data set with the help of the expression so first so another thing is you need to have this data set right so that is something also i have imported so if i go over there in get data excel work not excel actually you have the csv so you have the co2 co2 emission ranking so if i double click over here you will see that the list of countries the year the emission and the rank right so i think this is a handful of countries like 10 15 countries and then we'll click on load so all in all the charticulator template is expecting a data in this format but there is this a slight problem i'll show you click on load and once it is loaded you have the co2 emission ranking we can see the data over here and yeah there you go the only one problem is that you this year if i select it this is a whole number instead of the date so that's the only challenge with this uh, when we will use it in the front end so we make we need to make sure that we convert it into a proper date so i will going to click on new column there you go and this is where we will going to create a date out of this year so i will call it year underscore date and i will use the date function where i need to specify the year year should be co2 emission year comma one comma one that means first month first day you can choose whatever you want this is what i want this is i like convenient and i'll click okay 
So this is a date properly converted. I don't need time. So I will just remove that. So now I have proper date, right, which I can use in my calculator and all. So uh, with that information, what do I need is basically from the date hierarchy, I need the year and uh, I need the rank, right? I need the uh, emission and I need the country as value, right? All the four values. Okay, so once we have this, we click on the import template. If you remember, when you clicked on this template, you must have saved it. So this is the bump chart. You double click over here. So you have three values. What it is asking you is the year. So what is the year? Year is year. Over here, as you can see, you have the country. Country is mapped to the country. And rank is basically the rank. We don't need actually the emission. So we click on save now. And now you have it, right? Even if I remove this and save this, go back to the report, you have your beautiful looking uh, rank of carbon dioxide emission over a period of time, clearly indicating who is uh, who has moved on to second position like United States from 1992, 19 1992 to 2011 and uh, this is where your country Indonesia it has moved up then down then up so but France is looks like doing really great where I think this was the sixth position to the last position now so basically indicates who is emitting more uh, you know carbon emission or a CO2 emission and who is doing less and this is how you know the great visual looks like. So now uh, you know a thought will be coming no, to a normal developer I mean to a regular developer or an analyst whomsoever is using it okay this is fine you have the uh, you know good clean data set and you are done. What about my own data set right like for example the sales data set or finance data set where I need a ranking right. For example, I want to look at uh, the product sales over a period of time and I want to rank them, let's say, right? So that's something what we are going to do next so that you know what to do. Bump chart on sales. Okay. So, so first thing first, we click over here on Charticulator, right? This will open up this window and then we need what? We need uh, the product, I, either I can take product category or I can take product subcategory. Subcategory has some more values, so that would be interesting. So I'll take subcategory, it has around 10 to 12 values, it has just 4 values. So subcategory is one I need to take, I need to take year, so order date is present over here. From there, I will take the year, but I don't have the rank. I have the sales value, but I don't have the rank. So I need to create a rank that is on the subcategory, right? So for that, I need to click on, I need to make sure that this is selected and I need to click on the new measure. And this measure is basically something I'm recreating it from my previous video where I showed you with the help of the DAX calculation how you can convert the ribbon chart into the um, bump chart. If you have not seen that, I'll just show you that in exercises, you may have how this one. This is the exercise which was given on the workout Wednesday. How you can turn the ribbon chart into bump chart. You, can, you have the uh, video link as well as you have the week 11 exercise link in column C. So you can see this piece. So I'm just recreating that and I am saying sales underscore product subcategory underscore ranking. So this is something what we need to create using the rank X and here we need to use find the column uh, 
the column is subcategory because this is on that we need to create a rank so all selected subcategory right and then using the calculate we need to do the sum of sales close this close this close this. nothing is happening you are creating the rank of sales by subcategory that is all which is happening Subcategory is present here, sum of sales is present here under the calculate function so that it calculates for each category. So you have it, sales, and you put it over here. This is the rank. Now, what we do is uh, we just select over here so that it showed me this. Show and go to edit and import template. Template is bump chart. So here, year is mapped to year. Country, country is subcategory, right? And rank is this DAX function. And you click on save now. And there you have it, right? Save. I'm not doing a lot of formatting as you can see, but you have a lot of formatting option over here. As you can see, you have chart, link, plot, title, so on and so forth. So you go back. And there you have it. The only thing which you are not able to see is basically your name of name of your subcategories, right? So it shows like how the dimensions have gone up, down, over here. But what it does not show is the. Um, so for that we'll go into the edit. Sometimes it acts weird. I feel that it is acting weird. So what I'll do is instead of doing anything, I will just save this and reopen my uh, Power BI. So I'll go here and open the Power BI. Because if you remember, it was also not showing the lollipop chart lines and circle. So I'm just assuming that that is what the issue is. So if I just click it over there, because ideally there is no issue. It's the it's all part of the template that is being created. Okay, it has not come for some reasons. Do I have the lines over here on the lollipop chart? No, I don't have the lines also. So I'm just assuming that uh, some issue with my uh, version which I'm using it over here. Maybe when I again restart my system or something, but I can still work out with this so if you see i have this glyph right looks like it is all white color so if i come over here this is some category font is this right uh, margin okay margin is like this color First subcategory outline background. I don't know what color I should choose. I think I should choose some light color. Yeah. Why I don't know some some weird reason that it is not showing up. How about if I just drag it till here? Because it has the value or it, it is um, opacity. Does it do anything? Nope. Background. Change the background to one. Nope. Yeah, it looks like some issue with what um, what I have added as a chart articulator because I have experimented with this and it was showing perfectly fine. No, oh, nothing like it. Uh, if I reduce the margin, will it show? Save, back to report. Yeah, something is really weird going on with this, but because I can relate with this. This was showing to me earlier. It was not showing right now. 
So I can check it later, but that's all in all your entire process is to create the bump chart. You should have the names like this over here. If I come here, write this one, right? So what I'll do, uh, if I, if there is anything issue is going on with my data or something, I will look into it, but that's basically the entire processes. And uh, I'm just assuming that because of the lollipop chart, it is not showing the values. It is not showing it over there as well. Um, but if I found anything, I will, I will show it to you. Right now, nothing is coming in my mind as what it is doing because this is quite new to me. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in new video with a new topic.